Hello everyone, this is Prasad Banerjee from Digit.in. So we have with us today the Zolo Q600S. It's a budget price smartphone within uh, 10,000 rupees. So it uh, basically competes against things like Motorola, the Moto E, the Asus Zenfone 5 even and the you know soon to come Xiaomi Redmi 1S. Uh, so this phone has a has your uh, it's a 7.9 mm uh, device. The thickness of the phone is 7.9 mm. It has got a 4.5 inch IPS LCD screen, which uh, has gives you a 540 by 960 uh, pixel resolution. It's got 1 GB of RAM and 4 GB of internal storage. It's also got micro SD capacity for 64 GB expandable. And it has 5 megapixel uh, a rear camera and a VGA front camera. The It's got a 5 megapixel uh, rear camera and a VGA front camera. And uh, it is capable of 720 pixel video recording. It runs on Android KitKat, the 4.4.2 version of KitKat. And it has a 1.2 gigahertz quad core Broadcom BCM23550 processor. It also has a 2000 mAh battery inside. So by the specifications and everything you can understand that this phone uh, competes directly with the ones I have mentioned already. Also uh, Zolo's sister company Lava, Zolo and Lava are both owned by, by the same company. So they, they have a phone called Iris X1 which is uh, pretty much the same specifications and also they are pro, both priced by the company at exactly the same amount would be 7999 you can get both of them of course for cheaper prices but they are available uh, from the company at this price 7999 so let's look at the build and uh, build quality and design for this phone uh, if you take a look at it it is actually a very good looking phone it is uh, one of the better looking phones in this price segment the 5 megapixel camera is at the back. You've got only the Zolo branding here and the loudspeaker grill. And the white body looks good. But if you really remember, these the sharp edges and the curved, uh, the curved, so I'm sorry, the sharp corners and the curved edges, these uh, look a lot like the new Xiaomi Mi 3, which has recently been launched. Uh, similarly, the Iris X1 uh, looked a lot like the iPhone. And this one looks like the, you know, the Xiaomi Mi 3. But uh, build wise, while this phone looks good, it really isn't a very impressive build. The screen is a fingerprint magnet here. It's, uh, it attracts a lot of fingerprints which will eventually affect your uh, sunlight visibility, which is not good for any phone. Also, the back, while it looks quite sleek, there are some problems. This has a removable back. So, if you look at this, if you look where the back is meeting, you will see uh, gaps here. And there are other gaps as well. If you see, there are gaps here and some more gaps here. This doesn't point towards very good build quality. Also, the back is a little prone to uh, getting, you know, bumps and anything on the back. It's quite easy to get it. Uh, the SIM slots are of course inside. You can open this phone's uh, back to get it, get to the SIM slots and everything. Here also, if you look here, this camera is overlapping on the SIM slot. This is your micro SD slot and these two are the SIM slots, the micro SIM and the mini SIM. So this could be a problem for somebody who is trying to put a SIM inside. Of course you have to take out the bat battery, but when you put the SIM inside, you might end up uh, curving this which is not good for the camera panel so overall the build quality of this phone isn't the best that you can find this in, in this range you in fact even the iris x1 has a better build quality and so do many other phones in this segment so overall this is not the best build quality that you can find even the iris x1 which is from its sister concern has a better build the Moto E, Asus Zenfone 5 all have a better build, although this phone does provide you better looks than most others in this range.